Well, hello again from Kingston, where it's just started to rain. But it's been a week of great achievements. We've seen paving on the west end, and on the east end, the lift bridge has been completely removed, less the uprights. So let's get into the update, and please don't forget to think about subscribing. I'll see you at the end. Monday dawned grey with an early thread of rain. But on the western approach to the bridge, things looked good for paving. A lineup of equipment from Coco Paving looked purposeful. And it wasn't very long before a grader started finalising the surfaces. Nearby, the bar construction crew began another excavation. This is for a vault containing an oil grit separator. And while they worked, another excavator departed the site. Monday also saw railings arrive for the sides of the bridge, and Black and MacDonald move out onto the bridge spans. On the east side, on the steel spans of the bridge, the trailers moved last Friday could now be seen. And the destination of the metal railings quickly became apparent. With work already taking place on fitting their uprights. On span 17, the precise demanding work of placing wall forms for concrete pour continued. Below the spans, closer to the river, the work of removing the temporary trestle roadway was ongoing. And then, just about lunchtime, the heavens opened. But that wasn't going to stop Barr from excavating. Or John's grading services from providing necessary support. On Tuesday morning, the team from Black and MacDonald were busy on the west abutment preparing light bases. Despite persistent rain, they would work steadily all day, leaving the result we saw the next morning. Barr, meanwhile, was battling both rain and limestone to house the separator vault. Coco Paving continued their preparations, including marking up, rolling and grading. But the weather ultimately frustrated plans to pave. Little or no work took place on the trestle roadway. And most of the workforce went home early. On Wednesday, Barr successfully positioned the separator, and Black and MacDonald continued their installation of the light poles. Towards the east end, it was time for a major wall pour. These occasions are very much a team effort. Quality level required demands a good deal of expert and skilled hand finishing. Getting the concrete to the low, south side wall demands delivery by wheelbarrow. And no concrete job is complete without rinsing out the delivery equipment thoroughly. Not far away, over Pier 20, a father and son team, Chris and Devon, were engaged in preparations to fit the penultimate expansion joint. And there was a chance encounter with Rosa and Lee from Eagle Eye Professional Cleaning Services. After a quiet day on Tuesday, considerable progress was made in dismantling the trestle roadway on Wednesday. A 
major milestone was passed on Thursday morning with paving equipment lined up and ready to go on the west end. The work would go very well, but nobody could have anticipated that they would be there until almost midnight that night to finish the job. But the excellent results speak for themselves. On the east side on Point St Mark Drive, Black and MacDonald continued with the installation of traffic signals. And more of the trestle components departed the site. The pace of disassembly and removal of the old trestle was really quite impressive. It even seemed to attract the attention of the Air Force. This is how the lift bridge looked on Friday morning. Notice the crane mats have already been removed. A single trestle span remaining to the west will facilitate disassembly of the lift bridge. Floating crane mats are repositioned to serve as platforms. You can see them in use here, below the lift bridge. Even as the lift bridge comes apart, crane mats from previous removals are leaving the site. Back at the lift bridge, the penultimate girder is rigged for lift. It's soon on the move. Raised from its resting place of nearly two years, the LR1200 crane begins to back away, moving it to a position where it can be swung and set down behind the crane. Before very long on Friday afternoon, just one girder remained and it was getting serious scrutiny. A few lines needed to be sorted out and then it was go time. As usual, the crane backed away to clear the uprights on the bridge and then swung the girder round to set it down. Not very long afterwards, and a little unexpectedly, we got hit by a sudden thunderstorm. However, in the sullen blue-grey aftermath, we could see that all was well with the bridge. A little unusually, there was some work conducted on Saturday on the bridge to prepare wall forms for a concrete pour early next week. We can also expect to see the concrete poured on the expansion joint on Pier 20. And as we go to wildlife, would anybody like to speculate on the nature of the white bundles delivered by this large truck on Friday afternoon?
there you go. Quite a week. Don't forget to tune in next week for uh, the latest update. And if you like these, don't forget to comment below and provide any suggestions you may have. Thanks again. Bye for now.